Hi, my name is Jenna Barbie. I'm the teacher that is under investigation with the Florida Department of Education for indoctrination for showing a Disney movie. So I want to bring up the issue that I'm in trouble for. I was told by every teacher and mentor at our school that our method for approval by administration of showing movies was to have a signed parent permission slip for PG movies. I had that from the beginning of the year. The whole fifth grade team had signed permission slips for PG movies with no objections to specific content. Um, I actually had one student who did have objection to specific content not showing the Buzz Lightyear movie, but she wasn't in my classroom anymore, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, the reason I was turned in is because one of the split students was a school board member's daughter. That school board member is currently on a rampage to get rid of every form of representation out of our schools. She even spent days this past week going to all the high schools to get rid of anything that had to do with representation whatsoever. This teacher down in Florida is now under investigation for showing a damn movie. I'll let you guys know the movie there is in a second. But apparently, as you saw there, there was a bit of a mixed classroom situation. Standardized testing was happening and some of these kids had some free time and needed a brain break. So they watched a the movie and now all this came from it. That movie that uh, this teacher down in Florida is talking about, a Strange World is the movie from Disney. Uh, these explorer family here, uh, there's a couple of uh, as a kid there that apparently is the product of a mixed race relationship, which is definitely a problem. But the next problem they have instead is a little bit something else. Uh, let's let Barbie, that teacher there, explain more about what this mother who was on this crusade against her uh, was going through. Let's watch. She even had admin escort her to a teacher's classroom that had a sticker of a black hand and a white hand holding hands and the white hand had a different color fingernail for every finger. So the school board member called the Department of Education on me for indoctrination before ever coming to our school to talk with me or admin about the situation. So I didn't think it was a big deal, but seeing how upset she was, I told her I, I understand my lesson, that's that, but come to find out she had already reported me and there was nothing she can do about it. So I chose this movie because it relates to our curriculum. Our unit at the time was earth science and ecosystems and how they interact, plants, humans, animals. So this movie is perfect. Apparently it's not perfect. Again, I mentioned, I speculated what could the problem have been with this movie. By the way, I heard reviews about the movie were bad, people didn't really watch it. So maybe these children for the first time they were exposed to this movie. Uh, and apparently afterwards they just went crazy because they saw something that this one particular mother who was on a crusade had a problem with. Apparently that problem is, is this male character in the movie talked about for a minute, a crush on another boy and oh my God. What does that do to our children? Here's a piece of that movie. Be careful, if the children in the room, they might start turning into same sex crazed maniacs. Watch. Uh, hey, Diazo. <laughs> hey, gang, what's the haps? Dad, what are you doing? Ooh, is this him? Okay, don't we have some deliveries to make? Hey, Diazo seems cool. I see why you like Please it. Stop talking. I remember my first crush. Oh, my God. You know, I, I got a little bit gay just for a minute there when I saw it myself. And I'm not even like the fifth grader or nothing, Burbank. It's a problem going on in our schools. I can feel the gay coming <laughs> over me, JR. I can understand why they didn't want them to watch this film. Absolutely absurd. What breaks my heart about this the most uh, is that the teacher, you can tell the emotional distress that she's under. You can hear it in her voice. They're not paid enough to deal with stuff like this as teachers. It's ridiculous. The fact that she's under investigation personally goes to show what their agenda is, right? They're not like, oh, well, let's change the curriculum. No more gay movies. That's not what they're about. They're like, let's attack this one individual person, like try and make her fired, try and make the consequences for her. Because it would be absurd for them to pass, you know, policy where they're like X, Y, and Z movie is banned. I mean, they're doing it with books. They might do it with movies too. We'll see. But they really want to make it retaliatory, right? Let's take down this one person whose ideology may be might be a little different from ours. By the way, her ideology, as she pointed out during something at a six and a half minute video talking about it, she goes, she's had children, students come up to her and many times they're shy about other things and tell her where they are somewhere maybe on the along that spectrum of 
same sex attraction and things like that. And she said, I don't tell them one way or another, I just accept who they are. And that's what they're so upset about from this one person. They wanna make an example of her. By the way, graphic three, you guys, cuz this is the letter that went home to families after this whole thing went crazy for some reason. Now imagine you get this back and you have to wonder, well, what? Here's what they said. Yesterday, the Disney movie Strange World was shown in your child's classroom, which maybe if you're reading this as a parent, you go, oh, maybe they missed some work. The school district said this, and then while the while not the main plot of the movie, parts of the story involves a male character having and expressing feelings for another male character. In the future, this movie will not be shown. The school administration and the district's professional standards department is currently reviewing the matter to see if further corrective action is required. What corrective action for what? Showing a movie where a kid expresses feelings for another male character. This is what in 2023, this the United States of America who deems ourselves the greatest country in the history of the world and most dominant, intelligent, far thinking, progressive country ever. Well, they probably keep that progressive part out, but definitely the strongest and most brutal and will absolutely F you up. But if your child sees a movie for two minutes and the, one of the characters is attracted to another male character, Oh my God, we have to do things like what the teacher non points out in this last video. This is what they did in response, because they're talking about how kids were traumatized by what they saw in the film. Is a character in the movie LGBTQ? Absolutely. Is that why I showed it? No, I have a lot of fifth grade students who have come to me this year long before showing this movie talking about how they're part of that community as well. And it's not a big deal to me. So I just said, okay, that's awesome, do you? I also want to bring up a fact that none of my students cared or batted an eye. They didn't even know this was a big deal until the board member and the state made it a big deal. They're using it against me saying they're protecting the children and it's for their safety. But what is this actually showing them? Their teacher showed a movie to help them connect to our curriculum and learn some valuable life lessons. But the minor representations that have nothing to do with the movie are such a big deal that now admin is in their room pulling their teacher out, calling the students one by one down to the office to interrogate them in the middle of my lessons. And that's what they're doing instead, Burbank. So you got a minute, you got law enforcement, interrogators, investigators going and talking to these elementary school aged children about what it is they saw. How many of them do you think are wondering, am I in trouble? What happened? Is my teacher going to jail? What's the crime here? Mm-hmm. No one knows. The crime is we saw some gay stuff at school, dad. It's like ridiculous because all of the Disney movies have stuff in them that are not stuff you want to emulate, right? Are you going to watch 101 Dalmatians and go kill a bunch of puppies? Are you going to watch Snow White and eat weird stuff that strangers give you and make deals with witches or Cinderella? Then you're going to sneak out and see strange <laughs> men. There's a lot of bad stuff in movies that kids watch. And this is not the worst of it. Just because there was a gay character doesn't mean you're indoctrinating kids to become gay. But they're so afraid that if they know what gay is and their kid is gay, that they will say, I am gay. And they want to make it so that they don't even know what it is, erase gay culture entirely from our society so that their kids could never be gay. It's absolutely so ridiculous. I'm sure that teacher had parents or had kids rather come and tell her that they you know, might identify on you know, the, the queer spectrum because they couldn't tell their parents about it. And that's so sad. That's like mm -hmm. bad parenting and it's antisocial to say, we have to pretend these people don't exist. And that's the idea, because if you do hear it, then you're supposed to say, "Oh, well, those folks, they're evil. This is the indoctrination that's actually happening. Because again, they're seeing gay characters so that they will be gay. How many straight characters do they see? Why doesn't that work? Why don't the depiction of gay, of straight characters, which you've seen throughout all television and, 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 and movies since forever, why doesn't that stick? Why is your perspective of the only thing that's right, why doesn't it stick? And ask yourself, Maybe I'm on the wrong side of this stupid ass argument.